What's up, it's Drops Up, a Bloodbath interview on the channel, and welcome back to another um, modded video. But this time I'm actually doing a mod review. This is the first time I'm doing a mod review, and I'm doing the ICBM Classic Missiles. Now, you might be wondering why am I doing a 1.12.2 mod? Because it's ICBM Missile, of course I'm gonna do this mod. But yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go over to the ICBM Missiles. So, first off, what is the ICBM missile? ICBM missiles are, I think it's intercontin intercontinental ballistic missile. I think that's what it is. And basically, it adds in missiles to the game where you can like put coordinates into things and then essentially have tactical nukes almost. Think of it like that almost. And what I love about the ICBM missiles is that it's one of those mods that are such a freaking amazing like design and concept. Like, it's one of those mods that's amazing concept, amazing design, flawless execution. That's a very rare thing to see within mods. So, let's get started with some ICBM missiles. Now, before we continue, I just want to say, ICBM missiles requires a power mod, meaning that you need thermal expansion, mechanism, or industrial craft, or any mod that has FE power, also known as forge power, or forge energy, excuse me. You could easily disable this by going into the mod options, ICBM Classic, Config, and then General, and set that to false. And that's how I am using these without power, but I recommend, you know, get a industrial craft thing or mechanism thing and like make power that way. And it, it gives more of an immersion to making the ICBM missiles. Let's get right into launching some missiles. Also, I would like to mention that there are some other things such as condensed explosives. We also have a few things here and there, such as EMP towers, radar stations, rockets, radar gun, remote detonator, laser to designer, trackers. I mean, there's a lot of crap. Like, they really thought of everything. Cruise launcher, that sounds fun. And there's even like shrapnel grenades, Conventional grenades, attractive grenade, repulsive anvil grenade. <laughs> Hang on a second. Wait, I, I, need, I need to see this real quick. What? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Where did it come from? Wait. <laughs> oh boy, that's fun. Alright. But yeah, I don't gonna see. There's just a lot of crap in here. I might not go over all of them, but I'm gonna go over a couple of them. Um, how did these launch up? Let's see. So, <laughs> I like the clown on top of it. I don't think this launched via fill and seal, but let's see. Okay, okay. And then, boom. Right, okay. So I guess I do launch uh, uh, or light via fill and seal. That's a little conventional. Oh, and also there's a rocket launcher that can launch up to tier two rockets. So let me go over the tiers real quick, actually. There are um, from four different tiers. There's tier one, tier two, tier three, and then the antimatter and the red matter missiles. So yeah, tier four. Uh, let's launch some things. I already launched one of these. This is the thermal barrack missile. Maybe you could have can, or at least as close as the north can get. So that's what this is. Just fire some of these here and there. All right, that's a little small explosion. Uh, shrapnel missile. They each have their own different thing. So that fires almost like arrows outside of the, you know, explosion. Uh, this is the incendiary one. That's pretty self-explanatory. Is it, is it a smoke screen? Confusion and historians for all around. Oh, tear gas. Oh, Jesus. Okay, what is this? <laughs> Chemical missile. I already knew what it was by some of the freaking uh, particles. And the missile acts. You know, you get the idea of that one. And the missile is hilarious. Repulsive. Pushes everyone away. Okay. How far? All right, not too bad. Let's see. I think I need a more flat area to like really test that out, but regardless, there's that. Attractive missile. Oh my god! <laughs> Fragmentation? Oh my god! Have you 
remember the plague? Ooh, that sounds cool. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Sonic missile. Jump scare missile. Gotcha. Okay. Reaching missile. Oh, that just stays there for a good while. Okay. What, oh, when do you need a door? Ah, I see. So it's almost like battering ram time. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, that's the one that I have launched. Okay. Time, set, day. So what's the benefit of using these things? Well, these give you precise coordinates. So, like, let's say, those are remote detonators, I'm assuming you can, I'm, yeah, I think you understand what that is. Alright, let's test up some of these blue ones inside of this thing. So, how did this work? Well, you place it down here. Oh, by the way, oh, I forgot to mention as well, all the crafting recipes and all that, I forgot exactly how hard it is to make some of these missiles, but I'll, like, I don't think that they're that hard to make. At least some of them are not that hard to make. So, also, there's poison spikes, flammable spikes, and regular spikes, so there's also like those kind of weapons. Here we have tier 3 missile. So we can set the X coordinate, let's set it to like, uh, not a thousand, a hundred, detonation heights, D, lock heights, I don't know what the lock height is, frequency, I don't, frequency. I don't know what all these are, but either way, launches, that went, that zoomed really quickly. Tracker doesn't seem to be picking this thing up. Alright. Where's 100 by 100? Should be. I'm, I'm... Why am I so lost? Oh, there it is! <laughs> this one was from a test I did. Okay. Wow. And so that rain was just nuclear... Like, yeah. Acid rain. Damn, that's, that's pretty freaking good. Pretty good missile. Pretty good missile. High quality missile. Um, unfortunately, I would have to launch all of them from this thing because this, this rocket launch can only do up to, you know, tier three. So let's just go put an EMP missile. Okay. And then... Not gonna go too far. No, I have no idea where that missile went. Okay. Let me do it in like a coordinate that I actually understand. Okay, I have a coordinate that I have in mind. Oh, an EMP missile. Oh, I think I know why I didn't do anything. You have to be very careful with the coordinates because you might mess up the coordinates. Man. Yeah, so that just destroys like techno- like, like it, it's an EMP. It, it isn't meant to like do physical damage. Exothermic. Um, I thought the sun was hot. Ooh. We're gonna have to see what an antimatter missile would be. Oh! Oh. What? Oh, that was awesome! Endothermic! They call me Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Launch in the same exact area. This is such a, like an interesting concept. Hmm. I mean, I mean, why would you go with endothermic when exothermic does more damage? Anti-gravitational missile. Hell yeah. Ender missile and then hypersonic. Oh, I might have to like lower my volume for the hypersonic one. Up, oh, that's see, that's what you call unfortunate. Like, I don't know if anyone knows this, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. It's still going. Is that area just permanently anti gravity? What do I get a folder? Uh, I'm assuming yes. Because I've been creative. Oh. Yeah. 
whatever. This one's gonna scare the crap out of me, so I'm just gonna... Uh... Okay. How loud is this? I turned my volume down very low. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was actually relatively loud for the fact that it's 17% master. That's a loud missile. And then that one's straight forward. Oh, there we go. We finally stopped the anti-gravitational one. Oh, so what did that do? Enderman? Hmm. Interesting. Um, now it's time for the really Let's launch both of them. Screw it. <laughs> okay, that one just sucks things in. Maybe I shouldn't put both of them. And also, maybe I should, like... Okay, so anti-matter um, sucks things in. What is the red matter? Uh, let's, let's do the opposite direction. Alright, let's see what damage it did. Oh. 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 Oh boy. Uh, so how big does this get? It's uh, still going. It's uh it's 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 still going. I feel like the world might be in danger type thing, you know what I'm saying? The world might uh, I mean it's doing a hell of a job at like destroying the world. Just, uh, how, how, what, 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 and exactly. It's, um, getting, uh, bigger. See, I, I really want to just, like, keep watching this thing, but I have to end the video. I mean, it's some motivation for you guys to, like, balance mod just to see how big this thing gets. And it seems like the antimatter one. Or like, what one to cancel each other out? So like, it looks like if you shove one of these two missiles inside, like one of those black hole things, I guess it's just simply, just, you know. But either way, like that's basically it for this entire thing. Um, all the TNT stuff, it, th there's is a basically like TNT version of the missiles, so you're not missing much there. And it's that same for the grenades and all, and all that. So, either way, that's basically for the explosives and all that of this mod pack. I didn't go over like certain things like the battery, the diffuser, the signal, whatever. But I think those are something that you guys should probably find out on your own. Um, but either way, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Peace up, peace up. I'll see you guys next video. Take care and good.